Hello and welcome to the Banker's View from Cyboss video series. Ahead of SWIFT's user conference in Australia this year, I'm speaking with Simon Ecott, Head of Innovation and Business Development at NatWest, to get his view on developments in open banking and the potential hot topics in Sydney. Simon, thanks so much for joining us today. The main theme of this year's Cyboss is enabling the digital economy. What does that mean to you? I think it means many things, actually. Um, but basically, from a customer perspective, it's making their lives a lot easier using technology to do that. I think there's a lot of talk around technology and innovation, but when it comes down to it, it's about making their customers' lives easier. And for us, whether that's in the personal sector, so uh, enabling our, our online capability, building our uh, award-winning personal mobile app 24-7, uh, making it secure, adding extra functionality, or whether it's in the business space, again, using data, making it frictionless, just making it making banking just part of the everyday uh, way of life for, for our customers. So it's, it's not about the technology per se, it's about what it can do for our customers. Okay, and obviously this year open banking came to life in the UK. Uh, so where are we at in those terms and what kind of opportunities open up for banks? Yeah, it's a great question. So I think if you look at the UK in general, I think it's been you know, very much at the forefront over, over many years in terms of leading the way in, in, in technology. So you know, we were pretty much one of the first economies to launch immediate payments some, you know, some 10 years ago, and that really now has become a way of life and has enabled a lot of things. In the UK at the moment, a um, couple, of, couple of main developments, obviously open banking is one, but alongside that as well, we've got the new payment, ar payment architecture coming in, which if you, if you overlay that with the open banking, uh, you know, the open banking technology is going to start to enable a lot more things to happen, uh, a lot more opportunities for not just banks, but, but a lot of other uh, third parties as well to build capabilities. Uh, and um, yeah, so open banking itself is, is now live. It's probably fair to say been a little bit of a slow burn to date, um, but it will, it will grow if you perhaps draw a parallel with the way that broadband started off as the preserve of a few techni technically savvy people. It seemed that then overnight you reach a tipping point and suddenly it started to, started to take off. I think we'll find that a little bit with open banking as well. So it's an exciting time. It's not just about open banking. It's what open banking can mm. enable. You know, what kind of op uh, opportunities really open up when you talk about the open application programming interfaces, sort of connectivity? API is a great, great buzzword. And again, that, that technology has been around for a while. It's what it can actually do. So uh, I talked about the, the new payment architecture and, and a couple of the developments there. Confirmation of payee, which will be very much around helping to protect customers against um, um, automated push payment scamming, which is a, you know, a very hot topic at the moment, Re you know, the request to pay uh, development as well. But within, within NatWest, one of the things that we're developing using that technology is a thing called NatWest Pay, uh, which we're currently piloting with, uh, with one of our customers. It enables account-to-account -account payments, so it avoids using card traffic, it, it avoids using card rails. It means customers don't have to put in their card details. You get an immediate, uh, an immediate payment. And that's looking very exciting, and we're looking to develop that as well. Okay. And then in terms of, let's say, data, mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, and robotics, what sort of new uh, services or business models is that opening up in banking? Yeah, it, with, with, if you look at data in particular, uh, with, you know, within NatWest, it's a major part of our, our business. You know, one in four payments in the UK goes through NatWest or, or, or RBS, and that, that data is massively important. We use artificial intelligence and machine learning right the way across the business. Uh, for a while now, internally, we've had a thing called Ask Archie, which is a, uh, an interesting name, but it's a, it's a chatbot, basically, which supports our uh, internal HR functions and, and has a lot, of, um, you know, a lot of usage there. And then we've turned it out externally as well. It supports our, uh, our, our online banking capability. It also supports our business, uh, our business customers. So you know, we've had, I think, this year, one and a half million conversations already using that, that particular chatbot. Um, and then if you look externally, we've been working with Vocalink um, on a thing called Corporate Fraud Insights, which is trying to sift through the tens of millions of BACS transactions that go through every year uh, and, and trying to identify potentially fraudulent transactions. And again, looking at behavioral things there, um, we've been able to stop, um, you know, since we've launched it, some 10 million pounds of, of, um, of uh, invoice uh, redirection frauds. And finally, the one that really excites me is a thing called BioCatch which is about the behavior of people online, so how they use their keypad, how they use their mouse, building up a little bit of a profile. So we can actually spot when perhaps it's somebody else that's trying to use, uh, use a customer's credentials. So Biocatch is, is, really, you know, is really exciting. We're rolling that across our, 
uh, our online capability and we'll have them on the stand at Cyvos to demonstrate. Okay, uh, and my last question is really around the hot topics that you think will be on the conference floor at Cybos. We touched on artificial intelligence, APIs, data, you know, cyber, yeah. uh, you know, prevention uh, of fraud and things like that. What do you think will be the buzz on the floor? I think all of all of those for you know for certain. Um, I think there may just start to uh, start to get more use cases around distributed ledger technology as well, mm. uh, and uh, we haven't spoken about that yet. But I think there'll be you know the, there's more and more use cases coming along there. And one that's starting to just get a little bit of attention is around quantum computing, mm. and we're looking into that. We've got a few experiments going on where we actually, you know, it's, it's proven to be some 300 times more effective than, uh, than than standard computing. So I think we may be starting to touch on the benefits of that too. And finally, I think we're all looking forward to next year as well, planning for uh, Cybos coming back to London. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insight, Simon. Thank you.